Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at some of the built-in string methods in JavaScript. And the first one being index of, which looks like this. Now what this does is it returns the position of the first found occurrence of a specified text inside a string. Now that sounds complicated, but what it does is basically it looks, uh, you have a string of text and then you have a word you want to find, say the, and you have a sentence like click this, click the button here or something. And it will look at the word the and it will try to find it will try to find it inside your text. And if it finds it, it will tell you where it is, as in the first uh, number in that sentence. So it's like string dot length, but instead of looking at the length of uh, your string, it looks at where the specific word is in your string. Okay, so let's try using that. Let's create a variable called, I don't know, text equals, and let's create a relatively long one. Hello, uh, hello YouTube. You are watching my uh, YouTube video. Oops, video. Yay. Now do. Hello YouTube, you're watching my YouTube video. And uh, what we're going to find is let's create a variable called x. It doesn't really matter what the variable name is. And let's say var x equals str. Actually, no. Text dot index of. And inside here, what we're going to do is write the text or the string we want to find. And in this case, we are going to say YouTube. No, let's not use YouTube. Let's say R uh, for now, okay? And uh, document dot write x. So it's going to return the number of the position of R. <coughs> and it's not returning anything. Oh, because I may I uh, made a silly mistake of making index of O small. Um, there we go, because uh, JavaScript object method names and properties and mostly everything are uh, case sensitive, index of in or small and index of with a big O are different things, which is why I didn't recognize. And there we go, we have an under 19. That means that uh, the word R is at the 19th position in your text. So you can count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There we go. Because in JavaScript or in most programming language, we count from 0. We said 0, 1, 2, and we ended up with 19th being the uh, first letter of R. Now, let's go back to my YouTube text and check it out. Now, normally you think that it's in 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, th th yeah. Six. Uh, what was I saying? Normally you expect the number or the output of this to be six because there's the word YouTube on or the Y of the YouTube on the six uh, place in your text. But let's try it. There we go. We actually returned with 35. Now that is because the index of and the argument you put inside here is a case sensitive as well. Therefore, this YouTube and this YouTube are different uh, strings, different words, not words, but different, are different. They're not recognized as the same. And because I wrote uh, deliberately another YouTube here, and in this case, I made all of the, all the letters lowercase, it actually matched with this YouTube and it came with the 35th, 35th, yep, 35th, because the Y is in the 35th position or technically 36 because you just can't form zero uh, position anyway of your text so that's index of make sure uh, the one thing to note is that you have to make sure that your it's uh, your what to you call it the word you're trying to find is exactly the same as the word uh, in the specific text because it's case sensitive 